The two most famous rivals in the computing industry are Apple and Microsoft. Ironically, when Microsoft PowerPoint first came out, it was released on Macintosh only. One insider said that people would go out and buy a Macintosh just to get access to the software. Today, Microsoft PowerPoint is the number one presentation software in the world, with an astounding 95% market share. But that wasn't always the case. In 1987, after a couple years of ideation, Silicon Valley startup Forethought Inc. created a presentation software for the relatively new graphical personal computers. The name for the software was the easy to remember Presenter, but they had to change it last minute because it had already been trademarked by somebody else. Instead, they went with PowerPoint, empowering everyday people to make a point on their PC. They sold 10,000 units and three months later, it was sold to Microsoft. This was Microsoft's first major acquisition, but it wasn't an easy decision. In fact, Bill Gates himself was against it. Microsoft wanted some form of presentation software, but Gates had envisioned the ability to create presentations as a feature of Microsoft Word, not its own program. Fortunately for Microsoft, their head of marketing for the applications division disagreed, and Bill Gates finally changed his mind. PowerPoint was acquired for a cost of $14 million, which is around $32.5 million today. There were two problems Microsoft faced with PowerPoint. The first was that they had very low market share, and the second was that they had insufficient distribution. So what changed? The first problem was solved with the incorporation of PowerPoint into Windows. They obviously owned both of them. The distribution improved when Microsoft marketed and sold Word, PowerPoint, and Excel together as a package, Microsoft Office. PowerPoint has a 95% share in its market, drowning out the free Google Sheets and the free on Mac Keynote. While both are free, PowerPoint keeps a tight grip on the market because of its use in industry, even though you have to pay for it. Its competitive advantage is that Microsoft Office captured the corporate world and never let go. But the big question is, whether you use PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Keynote, a soapbox, or something else, what point will you make? <laughs>